How's it going, guys? Gameaholic here. I know you've heard that for the last three years. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to do something special for you guys. Something to look towards the positive end of things that are going on. And, uh, I don't know, maybe something that will make you feel good a little bit. So what I'm here to do today is I'm here to take you through my reality. Today we are going to do a walkthrough of my game room. In this video we are going to look at some of my favorite games in my collection, uh, some of the rarest ones, and just to show you that between these walls and between this room around here there's more than meets the eye. That I am not only just a video game collector but I collect many other things. So without further ado, let's get on with it. First things first before we get into the game room tour, uh, please excuse the gorilla style videography. Uh, it is only me uh, taping this, so most of this is going to be from a first person view. So I apologize in advance. But other than that, let's get to it. As you can see, that is the steps down from my kitchen. Uh, my game room is set up in my basement. Uh, we're going to start right at the entryway here. Uh, I am a huge Power Rangers fan, so as you can tell, I own the Dragon Dagger and also the Saba Sword for the White Ranger. This is my man cave, that is what I refer to it as. I am a Broncos fan, so um, get over it. Uh, over the years, I have collected uh, these World of Nintendo figures. Uh, I used to work at retail in a, in a Walgreens, so I used to get these fairly cheap. Uh, there is a couple that I am missing. Um, not 100% sure what they are, but if you guys know what these are, what I'm talking about, uh, please hit me up in the comments below or private message me. Now here's a good little piece of the collection I'd like to talk about. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of blocked by the pipe right here, but... Uh, basically, what these are is, these are what are called perler beads. And you can make pixel art out of them. Uh, so as you can tell, I have Majora's Mask, the Green Ranger, the Dagger, uh, Jason from the NES. Um, more Power Rangers set up in, like, Mega Man. Kingdom Hearts, Star Tropics, Bubble Bobble, uh, Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon ones, as you can tell. Uh, a lot of Zelda. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, I am a huge fan of Majora's Mask. Uh, that is redundant. I want to get the Majora's Mask tattoo on my chest. That's uh, one thing. Continuing on, I am a huge wrestling fan, or at least I was. Uh, so, over the years, I have collected championship titles uh, from WCW, WWE, ECW, different variations of championships, as you can tell. Uh, I even have my own custom championship right there. Uh, I used to run a backyard wrestling federation called the EWE. Um, Here's just a couple of things on my wall, the Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts, the Gunblade from Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, my wife made this uh, for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. These are Perlers of Final Fantasy X. Uh, she actually had bought me tickets to go see the Distant Worlds concert that we went and saw. That was a lot of fun. Um, as you can see, I collect some shot glasses. Uh, that over there is a tiki mask made from wood. Uh, we got this in the islands when we went on a cruise. Uh, I am a Broncos fan. Uh, this is a picture of a lot of my old friends. Uh, I think we were playing football or something that day and somebody took the picture. There I am right there. You know, nothing good to look at, but whatever. That's when I had better days. Uh, continuing on through the bar. 
Uh, those are some poker trophies. I also have a speaker, two refrigerators set up, a record player to play records because I do collect vinyl now. Backing up here, we've got the Gears of War clock that I got from a GameStop a long time ago. Uh, the shield from the Hillian shield, excuse me, from Legend of Zelda. Uh, I collect bottle caps off of beer tops, and I'm trying to fill this whole thing. So, if anybody's got any international beers, uh, please let me know. And now we're going to go check out the board game closet. So here we go into the board game closet before we get too uh, into it. Uh, I'd like to thank Eddie Sabat for this idea. Uh, basically, this is a shoe rack and it stores basically all my handheld consoles. So I got the original Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Pockets, I got a Game Boy Color in here, uh, quite a few... Uh, Game Boy Advances, different variations, as you can see. Again, sorry for the uh, gorilla-style videography. I've got the Game Boy Advance SP, uh, a 3DS. Uh, I've got some, you know, spare cases in here for like the PSP, the regular DS. I have the regular PSP Game Gear. I have right here another 3DS. Um, a Game Boy, Light Boy, the magnifier, and the light. Uh, some extra wires, you know, my wife's DS. Uh, a DSi, the Mario Special Edition. Uh, which, uh, funny story about this, I found it at the flea market for 10 bucks, And there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. Uh, my wife's PSP, she has the 2000, I have the 1000, the circle pad. Um, you know, wires, blue DS light, um... The wires right here, as you can see, for Guitar Hero. Uh, the extra circle pad for the 3DS, because I do not own the original... Um, I'm sorry, the newer versions of the 3DS. So, and without further ado, we come into the board game closet here. Uh, again, I was a wrestling fan, so I made a collage at one point with all the uh, wrestlers that I've met in the past. Uh, as you can see, I have a shitload of older and newer board games. Mousetrap, Battle of the Sexes, Monopoly, Scenic Clue, Trivial Pursuit. All different versions, and then, you know, I have some older rare ones in there. Uh, like the Isle of Lucy's and the Dog Edition of Monopoly are my wife's. Um, Risk, Jumanji, Saved by the Bell, yes, I own that, and Splat. Um, I'm into the more retro games, obviously, like Splat, Saved by the Bell, uh, the Power Rangers game, the one where you got to build a command center in the back. Uh, this was stuff I had as a kid. And then, you know, I got different variations of, like, Pictionary, I got Apples to Apples, Yahtzee, um, LCR, Mad Gab, Apples to Apples. And then we get down here, uh, I do have a karaoke machine. Um... The Mario Kart version of Monopoly, Zelda, uh, Taboo, the Power Rangers dice game, Escape Room the game, uh, Sex in the City, Mr. Bucket, yes I do own one. Um, you know, and then I got Crossfire, Crossfire, and then basically I have like extra storage in here for, uh, for my bar, poker chips, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so let's go to the farther end of the game room wall. Okay, this is, as you can see, the far end of the bar. Uh, I have one of those miniature um, style arcade thingies. Uh, I don't even know what the hell to call it. They're set up more like the Tiger games, but I only paid like $3 for the Pac-Man one. So it's a good little thing to add up to the bar when you're sitting there. Uh, I got posters from GameStop and, you know, movies I want to go see. So, Crash Bandicoot, Paper Mario, uh, Silent Hill. I bought this a long time ago when, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Suncoast was still around. So, 
Uh, this is where it gets really good. I do own an arcade one up. Uh, it is modded. So I can play all kinds of stuff on it. I recently just bought the riser because they've been so difficult to find. Um, so basically, uh, when that comes in, you know, this is going to be about a foot taller. Uh, I still have to make the modifications to the board here, but um, I have a coworker that's going to help me out with that. Continuing on through the wall, I do have. Uh, you know, Final Fantasy XIV posters, Elder Scrolls, Pokemon. Uh, this is where all the editing happens, is right here. Uh, after I shoot every video, this is where my ass sits down and does everything. And this is my game chair that I sit on to edit everything. You know, along with hard drives and stuff I do to back ev all my uh, footage up, because I back everything up. Uh, going, continuing on to the wall. I've got, like, Zelda, you know, this is all, like, giveaways, posters and shit I got from GameStop, so I put them up. Uh, the football jersey is actually from a friend of mine, James Kanowitz. Uh, he actually um, does work for the uh, Dallas Cowboys, and as you can see, I'm a Broncos fan, but he personally knows DeMarcus Ware. So... Um, he got me this jersey, and if you can see, it is signed by Von Miller, Akib Talib, and DeMarcus Ware. This was the year that they had won the Super Bowl. So that's one of my prized possessions I have. Uh, again, more posters. You know, I got the my poster up on the wall because, you know, I'm self-absorbed. So uh, Kingdom Hearts and then, like, the... Um, Legacy of Super Mario Brothers over the years. Uh, along with the couch that I sit on, I have, you know, Pokemon pillows. I have an Elvis pillow, because I am an Elvis fan. Um, and with that being said, let's get on to the wall now. Now let's get real. This is the part that everybody wanted to see. So I got games like Bubble Bobble, Balloon Fight, Bill and Ted... Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Deadly Towers, Friday the 13th, Ghostbusters, Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, one of the rarer games that I do own uh, is Battletoads Double Dragon. I have it with the booklet, as you can see right here. Uh, it's worth about 150 bucks. I did not know that. Um, you know, and then I got your, ca your basic Castlevania 2, Casino Kid, uh, Batman, Back to the Future, Dick Tracy... Um, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, Fester's Quest, Gyrus. A lot of the basic ones, uh, I don't own Castlevania. Um, 1 and 3 legit. I do have them digital, like on the Wii Marketplace. Uh, I am looking for certain games, uh, which I will say in this video. So, uh, let us continue on the wall. Continuing on to the wall here. Legend of Zelda... Uh, Krusty's Funhouse, The Karate Kid, Jaws, James Bond Jr., Legend of Zelda, Mega Man, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Mylon Secret Castle, Metal Gear, uh, Rad Racer, Rambo, uh, Simpsons. So I do have um, older key titles. I don't have any of the super rare games, obviously, like Bubble Bath Babes, the Nintendo World Championships, Flintstores, Surprise at Dinosaur Peak. I do not have any of that. Um, like I said, I have all the Marios, the Zeldas. Uh, I'm missing... Uh, trying to think. Um, I mean, I have most of the games I want for the... NES, except for like maybe like Ninja Gaiden 3, Co um, Contra, Castlevania 1 and 3. Uh, but you know, obviously they're not that easy to get anymore. So the the third Nerd Ninja Turtles, uh, that I'm missing. Uh, but I do have Zoda's Revenge, Street Fighter 2010, Strider. Uh, I do have this pretty cool multi-cart, which does have some of the rarer games on it. Uh, like Bucky O'Hare and the Flintstones game. Uh, when I get the fix or the feel that I want, I go to that. 
Uh, Tetris, Three Stooges, Tiny Toons, both Top Guns. Don't know why I own them. Uh, Tom and Jerry, uh, which uh, Seb's the Hedgehog. I know uh, just recently did a review. So, <laughs> uh, Vegas Dream, Wheel of Fortune, Winter Games, uh, X Men, Yoshi Cookie. Uh, and that does it for pretty much NES. Uh, 32X, I do not have that much. I have the Star Wars game in the box. Uh, and I think I have NBA Jam. Is the other game I'm looking at here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's NBA Jam. Uh, I do have a lot of boxed Genesis games, surprisingly. Um, so Aladdin, Altered Beast, Aquatic Games, uh, Art Alive, Little Mermaid. I do have some of the harder, not, well, I wouldn't say harder or rare. Uh, I wouldn't even say Hidden Gem either, but, um, the not so sought out for, but the not so easy to find in the wild games either, like Back to the Future or Beauty and the Beast, War of the Beast. Um... You know, but I've got a lot of the sports games that came out, I collected. Uh, but I have games like Cool Spot, Clue, Columns. Uh, I do have a copy of Crazy Boss! And, um, you know, Dick Vitale's uh, Whoa Baby or Awesome Baby or Having a Baby. I don't know what the hell they call it. Uh, what is pretty cool is I do have some um, reproduction cards of games that were never released. So, like Dragon's Lair. That never actually came out on the Sega Genesis. I have a cart for um, Eternal Champions, Galahad, um, basically the Genesis version of Wreck It Ralph, Fix It Felix Jr. Uh, I do have that. Uh, I do have a reproduction cart of The Wily Wars, Michael Jackson's Moonwalk, which I already told you. I own Jungle Book, Judge Dredd, Lion King, Clax. Um, you know, uh, the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger games, Mortal Kombat, I have one and two complete, uh, and three, but on the Super Nintendo, and Ultimate 3 complete, also on Super Nintendo. This is pretty cool, this is actually an, an add-on to, um, well, it's not really an add-on, it's a reproduction card, but I think it's really cool. Uh, it's called Mortal Kombat Unlimited. And basically what it is, it's a version of Mortal Kombat 2, where all the bosses and all the unlockable characters are playable, and they do have their own fatalities and whatnot, and they added the combo system from 3 into 2. So if you guys ever get a chance, definitely check that out. Uh, but then I have other games like Pac-Mania, you know, in the box, Pit Fighter... Uh, a lot of football games I got in the box. Uh, NBA Jam, Out of This World, coming down here on the other side. RBI Baseball, Primal Rage, Road Blasters, Sesame Street's Counting Cafe. Um, Shaq Fu, which I own complete. I only paid a dollar for. Uh, that was 99 cents too much. Um, I do have... A reproduction cart of Sonic 3. I understand this game is cheap enough, but for some reason, anytime I try to go to an auction or try to get it out in the wild, I have a problem. So, I gave up and just said, fuck it. So, I have two hacks here um, that were put on carts. Sonic Mega Mix. And then there's one called Sonic... Um, Sonic the Hedgehog Heroes, if I'm not mistaken, is what it's called. I'm sorry, Sonic Classic Heroes. So basically, it's like Sonic the Hedgehog uh, 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles tied together um, as its own special game, but you could switch between the three characters, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Street Fighter, Spider-Man, Super Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, uh, Tecmo Super Bowl, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. Uh, and then, you know, I've got, um, like, X-Men, WWF Royal Rumble, the World Series Baseball Series, uh, Waterworld, uh, which is, again, another one of those unlicensed games that was put in on, uh, on a cart. So that's one I will eventually be reviewing. 
And uh, we're going to go down the list here. And now we're going to hit the Atari. So as we continue down here, we are now into Atari territory. It's a lot of the basic stuff, you know, Breakaway, Demons to Diamonds, Dragster, uh, Frogger, Gorf, Haunted House, Pele Soccer. Uh, I do have E.T., as you can tell, it's right there. Uh, Indy 500, Pole Position, Pong, uh, River Raid. I do have Spider-Man, uh, Star Raiders, Star Master, Super Breakout, um, the Sword Quest series. Uh, again, Indiana Jones, I, I've got, um, you know, a handful of not-so-easy games to find, but not, you know, too rare. Uh, I'm almost positive I think these are Intellivision or Coleco games. So Astro Blast and Space Attack. I do have a complete copy of Pole Position for the Atari 5200. Uh, I won this in an auction on eBay. I don't know why, but it was cheap, so I bought it. <laughs> anyway, so now we go into Super Nintendo territory. And I, you know, I have some not so great games, but, you know, any classic game uh, in a box is worth more than what it is. So, like Battle Clash and uh, Boxing Legends of the Ring. Uh, and then I have, you know, like Brunswick Pro Bowling. Uh, Cliffhanger, Demolition Man, Dennis the Menace, a lot of movie-based games. But then you got, um, like, Donkey Kong Country, Final Fight. Uh, I do have Home Alone. Uh, bear with me right now. So, and before I forget, which is why I'm going to go across here, uh, I do have some Game Boy Advance games uh, that I made special cases for. We are going to get to... More of this in a minute, but these are just like, uh, I don't want to say high ticket. These are high end ones that I made cases for. So, like the Pokemons, uh, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, uh, the Super Mario Brothers, like the classic series in Yoshi's Island, Zelda. And then we continue on to like the DS games, so like Cooking Mama, uh, Final Fantasy 3 and 12, Gardening Mama, uh, the other Kingdom Hearts games, Mario Party DS, the. Mario and Luigi, Mario Kart, Ninja Gaiden, uh, the Pokemon games, you know, Pogo Island, uh, shit like that, Sonic the Hedgehog, Scribble Knots, uh, I think that's Rondo or Rodeo Swords, Super Princess Peach, which is not an easy game to find, but it's not extremely rare either. But coming back here to Super Nintendo, um, let's see what we got here. Uh, we do have the Indiana Jones, the Greatest Adventures, Killer Instinct, um, Kirby's Avalanche, uh, Link to the Past, Mario's Missing Paint. Uh, there's the Mortal Kombat 3 I was telling you guys about. Uh, coming over here, Pilot Wings, you know, more sports games, Rap Jams, Volume 1, uh, Page Master, SimCity, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which... That was a decent find. Thank you, Amay. I appreciate that. Uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters, which I actually got for two bucks at the flea market. Uh, Roadrunner Death Valley Rally. That was a game I played. Uh, Star Fox, Super Black Bass, Stunt Race, Super Double Dragon, uh, Super Mario All-Stars. As you can see, the label is coming up now before anybody questions me about this. Uh, I'm going to explain this to you guys real quick. I was at the flea market and I bought a Super Nintendo with uh, Mario All-Stars for $8. The cart was in such terrible shape, it was half, it was literally half the cart, it still turned on. But uh, I basically bought a label and bought a new cart for it, so the, um, the board on the inside is original, but the case and the label are not. Uh, so, I'm sorry, but, no. So, I have games like Super Mario World, and then, uh, the Scope games, uh, Super Star Wars, Tetris 2, Tetris Attack, Simpsons, uh, I do have a copy of Turtles in Time, uh, and then we come over here, we got Terminator the Tick, uh, 
copy of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, which I initially had the box for and not the game. But then I ended up finding the game at the flea market for like $7, so that worked out. Uh, WCW Wrestling, Wayne's World, WWF Raw, Yoshi's Island, Yoshi Safari, and then a couple of wrestling games, the Super Game Boy, uh, and then the Game Genie. And we come over here to better charted territory, uh, the N64, one of my favorite consoles. Um, not a whole lot here, a couple of, you know, mo mostly hand favorites or games I had from when I was a kid, so... I do have Diddy Kong Racing, I have Clay Fighter 63 in the third. If you can see right there, I have end labels for everything, plus it says that I have Sculptor's Cut. Um, I do not. It is not an official cart. Uh, obviously, because it costs so much money, uh, that is a reproduction cart. It's just so I can play it, though. Uh, Cruise in the World, Cruise in USA, uh, Earthworm Jim, Duke Nukem, Donkey Kong 64, Gex. Glover, Goldeneye, uh, Kirby and the Crystal Shards, Killer Instinct Gold, both uh, the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. I do have all the Mario Parties, uh, Mission Impossible, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, uh, shatload of sports games, so NBA, NFL. Uh, I like the Blitz series, which is why I own them, Paperboy, Piloting 64, Pokemon League, um... Perfect Dark, Pokemon Snap, Rayman, South Park, Super Mario 64, Star Fox, uh, Shadows of the Empire, and Rogue Squadron, which are both great, outstanding games. Um, Superman 64, I don't want to talk about it. Turok 1 and 2. Uh, I do own War Gods, which is a game I do want to do a review on. Uh, I do have the Game Shark, and then I have a couple of wrestling games here still in the box. Uh, no Mercy, Revenge, and World Tour. These were all found at the flea market for four dollars each, so that was a really good buy. I can honestly say that the Wii is a great console to collect for because it is fairly cheaper right now. Uh, so going down the line here, we've got Alone in the Dark. Uh, we got Bully. A lot of the Cabela games. I, I play a lot of shooters on the the Wii. I'm not going to lie. Um, Carnival Games, Castlevania Judgment. Uh, I do have the Dance Dance Revolution games and Country Dances. Don't ask why. Um, but I do got some hidden gem-ish games in here. Uh, Dead Rising, Chop Till You Drop. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Epic Mickey, Far Cry Vengeance. Uh, the remake of GoldenEye. Uh, Fortune Street, the Guitar Heroes, the Harry Potter games, my wife plays those. Uh, House of the Dead, you know, a lot. some of the workout games, Jeopardy. And then we're going to come up here. Sorry, that was my foot. Uh, Just Dance, uh, the Kirby uh, Dream Collection, the special edition one, the, a lot of the Lego games, the Harry Potters, the Rock Band, Star Wars. Uh, I do have the Twilight Princess and the Skyward Sword. Uh, funny story about Skyward Sword: uh, when the game was the game was actually out for a while, um, I found it in the thrift store uh, with the music CD for three dollars and fifty cents. So uh, somebody obviously did not know what they had there. Um, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, the Winter Games, Mario Kart Wii Eight. Uh, Super Sluggers, you know, a lot of the basic games, the My Sims, as you can see across here, the new Super Mario Brothers, Obscure, um, uh, One Chambara, uh, Pokey Park, which is, you know, not that hard to find. I mean, um, Pokey Park is actually more expensive, excuse me. Uh, I also have, I don't know if you saw it down there before, the Dragon Ball Tekachi 3, that's for some reason, it's like $80 for that on the Wii. I don't know if that price still stands today, but... Uh, a lot of the game show board games, uh, like the sequel to Ready to Rumble Boxing, uh, Red Steel, uh, Sean White Snowboarding, almost all the Sonic games, the Black Knight, Secret Rings, Colors, Unleashed, uh, Soul Calibur Legends, which is terrible, uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, Tenchu, 
Uh, a lot of the you draw games, you know, I ended up getting the pad at the store for wicked cheap. Um, a couple of the wrestling games. Uh, and then for the Wii U, um, a lot of the major titles I have. Uh, so Bayonetta, Donkey Kong, DuckTales, Captain Toad, Hyrule Warriors, Kirby, uh, Wind Waker HD, uh, Mario Kart 8, Monster Hunter, the Marios, the NES Remix, Super Luigi, Paper Mario, Super Mario Maker, Star Fox, Super Smash Brothers, Xenoblade, Yoshi. Uh, the two... I'm sorry, the three... Um, first party titles that I am missing for the Wii U if anybody wants to donate donate them to me which I know they won't uh, is Mario Party 9 Mario Party 10 and Game and Wario they are the three games that I am missing and with that being said we're gonna go back up to the top real quick and we're gonna look at Game Boy Game Boy Advance Game Boy Color and Game Gear games uh, as you can tell up here, I have a special setup for those particular games. Uh, I took old cassette tapes and I made um, cases out of them. So let me grab Zelda here. So, look pretty good. You know, I do that for every game I get. Uh, but I've got like Yoshi Topsy Turvy, um, Crazy Taxi, the Donkey Kong Countries. Uh, a lot of the Pokemon games, so gold, silver, trading card game, uh, blue, red. I am missing yellow and crystal. Those are the two Game Boy games that I'm missing. Uh, don't laugh at me for showing you guys this. Uh, it's two games. Uh, one is a um, reproduction cart of green, which is only available in Japan. And I think some of you know where this one's coming. Giggity. And that is Pokemon Cock. Uh, it is a hack. It is very um, controversial. Uh, if you don't believe me, just look up the footage for this game and you will know why I can't really talk about it. Uh, Mortal Kombat, Tetris, Kirby, uh, Pinball Land, excuse me, Kirby Pinball Land. Um, Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle. You know, a lot of like handful of... of um, you know, like, whatever games. Super Mario Land 2. Again, I have a lot of the top titles and shit. Uh, that's a lot of the... Like, Mary-Kate and Ashley and Doug and Blitz and shit like that. Uh, Game Gear, I've got, like, X-Men Columns. Uh, Krusty's Funhouse, Beavis and Butthead, X-Men Power Rangers. Uh, Batman and Robin, Samurai Showdown. Uh, Earthworm Jim... Yeah, a lot of sports games, basically. Uh, but a handful of good ones. Terminator 2. Uh, more Game Boy Color. So, like, Mortal Kombat 4. Godzilla. Uh, a... What is it right here? This is a Japanese game that was English translated. The Pokemon Trading Card Game 2, which we did not get here in the States. So, this was a pretty game, good game to have top here I've got basically like collector's editions for um, uh, blah, 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 Twilight Princess HD, uh, Animal Crossing, God of War Ascension with the statue, Killer is Dead, Chibi Robo, the 25th anniversary of Mario All-Stars, there's the um, Star Fox Zero I was telling you about, Tekken Hybrid, and then now we're going to go to the PS2 games. So going down the list here of PS2 games, I have uh, Art of Fighting Anthology, a uh, lot, lot of very good stuff here, a lot of compilations, a lot of uh, not so easy to find games, so like Bloody Roar 3 and 4, uh, Bully, the Capcom Classics Collection, Capcom Fighting Evolution, Capcom vs. SNK 2, uh, both Castlevania games, Curse of Darkness and Lament of Innocence. Uh, Clock Tower 3, which I still need to make time to play. Uh, the Crash Action Pack, Crazy Taxi, a lot of the DDRs. Uh, the Devil May Cry 5th Anniversary, which is crazy because the box that it's in is worth more than the fucking games itself. Um, the Dragon Ball Z Budokai series. The part of the Takachi series, I have the second one in Sagas. 
uh, Dynasty Warriors 4 and 5. I am trying to collect um, the entire series, so if anybody can help me with that, that'd be great. Uh, Echo the Dolphin, Defenders of the Future. Uh, I've got Evil Dead, A Fistful of Boomstick, the iToy games, Final Fantasy uh, 10, 10, 2. I have two versions of 12 because one is the regular edition, one is the limited edition. Uh, Fire Pro Wrestling Returns, which I'm still terrible at. Um, coming down here, the Full Metal Alchemist game, Gallop Racer, Gauntlet, Ghostbusters, uh, which for some reason the PS2 version of Ghostbusters always freezes. I don't know why. Uh, all the Grand Theft Autos that came out on PS2, the Harry Potters, uh, the Hitman Trilogy Collection, Eco, the Hulk, Jack and Daxter, Justice League, Karaoke Revolution, King of Fighters, the original Kingdom Hearts, Klonoa 2, which is a uh, harder game to find. You gotta get comfortable again, guys. Sorry about that. Um, the Spyros, The Legend of Wrestling, uh, Collection of the Madden games, which obviously I got dirt cheap, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, uh, Marvel Nemesis, Max Payne, Mega Man X7, X8, and the Mega Man X Collection, the Metal Gears. Now, I'll point that out right here. As you can see, I do have 2 and 3, but I also have the Essential Collection. The Essential Collection does have one, and it has subsidence for two and three. That's why I own it. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, uh, Mortal Kombat Collection, which has Deception, Armageddon, and Shallon Monks, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a couple of the Naruto games, NASCAR, football, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Need for Speed, Neo Contra, which is not too easy to find. Uh, the Nightmare on Elm, the uh, <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas, excuse me. Uh, all the Oni Mushes, the original uh, release of Obscure. So we come back down over here. A couple of the Pac Man games, Parappa the Rapper 2, which is not, uh, again, easy to find. Uh, Power Rangers Super Legends, uh, Predator Concrete Jungle, Rayman. Uh, I do have Resident, the Resident Evils, so 4, Code Veronica X, Dead Aim, and Outbreak. I am missing File 2, so if you guys want to help me out there. Romance of the Three Kingdoms, 7 and 8. I'm also looking for them, again, if you want to help out. Ridge Racer 5, Rocky Legends, some of the Sega compilations. Shinobi, a lot of the Simpsons games, a lot of the SingStar games. Uh, the whole Sly Cooper series, the SNK Arcade Classics, which is actually sealed. It's never been opened. Uh, coming down to the bottom here. Uh, so, Soul Calibur, Spider-Man, Spyro, Star Ocean, uh, the Street Fighter Alpha Anthology and Anniversary Collection, and EX3. The Summoner series, which uh, I do recommend if anybody has never played that. Uh, do. It is old and shoddy and dated. But it is a lot of fun. Uh, Turtle Smash Up, the Tekken games, uh, Time Crisis, Tomb Raider, uh, Virtua Fighter, Wild Arms, a couple of the, more of the wrestling games. And then we're going to come back up to the top here. And we got the Xeno Sagas, and that's about it for PS2. So what we're going to do real quick... Is within the same breath. We're going to turn over here. Because I completely forgot about these. And that is my tower. Of good godliness. I like to call it. As I stand back here. Look how huge that thing is. Uh, this is all. Majority of it's PS1 games. I basically want to say I have. A lot of the major release titles. So. I'm very proud of this collection, honestly. <coughs> the Castlevania Symphony of the Night, all the Crash Bandicoots, the Crocs, uh, Duke Nukem, Final Fantasy, Contra Legacy of War, um, Final Fantasy Tactics, um, Chronicles, Origins, Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9. I have all of them. 
uh, Meta Evil 1 and 2, Mega Man X5, Metal Gear Solid VR missions, and Metal Gear Solid Fear Effect 1 and 2. Um, Mortal Kombat Mythologies and Special Forces, Mortal Kombat 4, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, uh, Need for Speed, NFL Blitz, Rayman, the list just goes on from here, Resident Evil, 2 and 3, Rogue Trip, Simpsons Wrestling, which is terrible, but I felt the need to mention it, uh, all the Tekkens, Tenpin Alley, all the Tomb Raiders, all the Twisted Metals, um, all the wrestling games. It's 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 a lot to cover here. I mean, there is some high the Spyros. There's a lot. There's a, a handful of game, a handful of names of games that I'm missing here. But think about it. I have it pretty much. Um, Gran Turismo. Rhapsody, there's the other Final Fantasy and I'm still waiting to fill in this end. Uh, I do have a low but decent collection of Dreamcast and Sega Saturn games. So I've got like Space Channel 5 and Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Toy Story, Unreal Tournament, uh, World Series Baseball, House of the Dead, um, Virtual Fighter, WWF Royal Rumble. This is all Dreamcast, by the way. Uh, Crazy Taxi, Sonic Adventure, you know, I, I have that stuff. Uh, Sega Saturn, I have... Actually, I'm sorry, that is Sega CD. I have Double Switch and Sewer Shark. Not a good um, collection. I only have two games, but pff, what are you going to do? Sega Saturn, I have World Series Baseball. I have Virtua Fighter, uh, Daytona USA. A lot of sports games, because Saturn games, as you know, are ridiculously expensive. Uh, over here, uh, I had to switch it out of the rack from over here. I do have uh, GameCube games, uh, Bloody Roar, Donkey Konga, F-Zero, Final Fantasy, Gauntlet, Godzilla, Harry Potter, uh, all the Mario Karts, Mario Sunshine, Mario Parties, Metroids, Pokemon Coliseum, the Collector's Disc of Zelda, Resident Evil, Sonic DX, uh, all the Sonic stuff, the Gems Collection, Star Fox Adventures, the third part to Summoner, which is hard to find, Super Mario Sunshine, Melee, um, Jedi Outcast, WWE Day of Reckoning, and all their WWE games. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's hard to catalog over uh, 3,000 games, guys. It's not easy. Uh, over here is uh, some binders. I really no need to flip through these. This is this is all my loose games, uh, minus these three colored ones right here. One, two, and three. Uh, these are Xbox 360 games, but everything else is uh, it's PS2 loose GameCube loo uh, games. I don't have boxes and artwork for that. I'm still working on. So I figured, why put them in the rack if you know I don't really have room for them. And next, we are going to go over and check out the PS3 and the Xbox 360 games. Alright, so here for PS3, I got the Assassin's Creed, Batman, Dead or Alive. You know, a lot of HD remakes that came out. So Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry 4, um, Final Fantasy X-2, uh, Injustice, Sly Cooper 4, Time Crisis 4, uh, Quake Wars... Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Uh, the, the list you can see here on the PS3 is not really you know anything to write home about. A couple good games. Um, you know, the Uncharted series. Going in the regular Xbox here, we have Batman Dark Tomorrow, Blinks, Breakdown, Brute Force, uh, The Dead or Alive Ultimate, The Extreme Beach Volleyball, uh, Gem Nani Mushi Fable, a lot, of, a lot of the top tier titles, you know, the first party ones. Halo, Halo 2 Special Edition, uh, Metal Slug 3, which is, you know, not easy to find, but it's not hard either. The remake of NARC, The Slug Fest, Ninja Gaiden, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, Robocop, Rocky, Shenmue 2. Uh, Silent Hill 4, Smashing Drive, which I think is a great arcade game. 
uh, Star Wars Obi Wan, Republic Commando, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, a lot of Star Wars games. Terminator, Tony Hawk, Turok, yeah. Um, WrestleMania 21, fuck that game. Uh, Xbox 360, you know, it's 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 a pretty decent collection. So you know, Aliens, Colonel Marines. Uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, Bayonetta, uh, Borderlands, Castlevania, Crackdown, Dead or Alive, Dead Rising. You know, the, a lot of these. I know I sound like I'm getting bored right now. I kind of am, but this is a lot of the games that you know you guys already know about and shit. So Fable, Far Cry, the I do own, as you can see, the Fist of the North Stars games, um, Gears of War. San Andreas, Perfect Dark Zero, the Special Edition Prototype, Ninja Gaiden, uh, a lot of the Maddens, the Lego games again, uh, Halo, a lot of, I have a lot of the Connect games, uh, Special Edition of Red Dead Redemption, Special Edition of Operation Raccoon City, uh, Saw, Rumble Roses, the Sonic games, um, Tekken, Virtua Fighter, more wrestling games, Zone of the Enders. And that's it for 360. And as we start over here, we're going to get into the PS4 game. So, you know, a lot of the remakes, you know, I got Bubsy and Devil May Cry 5, Doom, Duke Nukem, uh, the HD Final Fantasies, the Zodiac Age Final Fantasy 15, Injustice, um, Spyro, Little Big Planet 3. The Mega Man, Metal Gear Solid, Onimusha, Resident Evil, uh, Secret of Mana, which I ended up getting for like 9 bucks, which was a good deal. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Shenmue 3, Soul Calibur, Tekken 7, The Walking Dead, uh, Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, that was actually a pretty good get uh, from online. Uh, Yakuza Until Dawn. Uh, I do have the VR. It is not down here. It is upstairs. Uh, some consoles are not down here because uh, of the room that I have. Uh, Switch games, Collection of Mana, Aladdin and the Lion King, Final Fantasy X, X2, Flashback, Ghostbusters, Pokemon, um, Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart, Mario Odyssey, Mega Man 11, Pokemon Let's Go. Link's Awakening, Mortal Kombat 11, uh, Super Smash, Scribble Knots, uh, as you can read on. Also up here, I do have the uh, Super Scope. I do have the um, sensor to play it. The only thing I do not have is the lens that goes on the top right there. I don't think you need it to play, but it is incomplete, but I could still use it. Uh, my PSP collection, uh, I'm a little proud of. Uh, Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Let's get down on the floor here, because then we're going to go up. Uh, Capcom, Castlevania, X Chronicles, Dead or Alive Paradise, Duodecium, the Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Four Tactics, Ghostbusters, The Grand Theft Autos, Birth by Sleep, Lemmings, uh, Mega Man Powered Up, Marvel Rise of the Imperfects, Metal Gear Solid, Parappa the Rapper, The Power Stone Collection, which I would love one and two for the Dreamcast, but as you know, they are ridiculously expensive. Uh, Soul Calibur Broken Destiny, Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max, Tekken Dark Resurrection, Beautiful Joe, um, Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, and here we finally get into something different. Some consoles. So I have a Super Nintendo and an NES. Uh, this is my uh, old CRT TV right here. Uh, I keep this... Uh, just so I can play light gun games and everything. It's small. You know, when I get into a bigger place, I'm going to obviously, uh, you know, have a bigger one. Uh, I do have an N64 that allows me to play 
uh, Japanese games. I made the modification on the inside. I did the same thing for the Super Nintendo up here. Uh, I do have a Sega Genesis, uh, PlayStation, and the PS1 with the screen. Uh, this is my extra PS2. The uh, I always get these confused. The ColecoVision? The Intellivision? Uh, shoot me. <laughs> Uh, in, inside these things, you can see there's just extra remotes for like the Xbox, um, the light guns for the PS1 and PS2, um, Super Nintendo, NES, the light gun, the adapter and everything to be able to play the, the Super Scope and then GameCube and controls over there. So, carrying on over here, I have my collection of pop figures. I have all kinds, like Power Rangers, and TV shows, like Doug, and Hey Arnold, and my list of Amiibos, and I've got a Power Ranger Morpher, Final Fantasy VIII figure, a Chocobo, uh, the Talk Boy that you can see behind there. Uh, up here I have uh, two wrestling masks for La Parka and Kane. Um, basically, you know, miscellaneous stuff. Uh, down here I have a whole bunch of boxes for consoles, so like the NES Classic, the Sega Genesis Classic, the Commodore 64 Mini, the PlayStation Mini. Uh, I do have those consoles, I'm just letting you guys know they are upstairs. Again, I can't fit everything in my basement, so, uh, Sega Saturn box, PS Vita box, um, there's plenty of stuff behind there. I do have an autographed uh, Sword Quest Earth World that is signed by uh, James Rolfe. Uh, that is the centerpiece of the boxes right now. Uh, and then I have like Pixel Pals and video game related um, figurines and stuff right here, as you can see. Uh, it gets a little dark in there, but I have like the Katana and the Altered Beast Werewolf. Uh, White Ranger figurine, a Sonic the Hedgehog um, figure I got from uh, Loot Crate. Uh, down here, uh, it's going to be on a weird angle, I apologize for that. Uh, I have like the bongo drums, some plug and plays, um, you know, um, not like Tiger Games and stuff like that, but you know, stuff that uh, won't fit in the bins and stuff over here. So, I've got, um, like one of those NES multi-cart ones. Uh, I have an arcade, um, stick for the PlayStation, the U-Force, uh, the Dream Gear, fuck that. Uh, over here I have some strategy guides, uh, for like Final Fantasy, Dragon Age, Pokemon, uh, Super Smash Brothers. These were all actually a lot of them. I did buy a couple of them, but a lot of them were found. Uh, so they, a lot of them didn't really cost anything. Coming up here, as you can see, I'm still working on putting stuff on these shelves. This is my um, European PAL Japanese uh, collection of games. It's not a lot, but it's ones I wanted. So, like, Sing Star, uh, Ratchet and Clank. Um, that is a Final Fantasy Dragon Quest game. Um, Project Altered Beast. Uh, for N64, I've got like A Link to the Past, Majora's Mask, Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. For Super NES, I have like Derby Stallion, Kirby's Dream Course, Mario and Wario. Uh, Mario Kart, the Fire Pro Wrestling series. I do have some Famicom games where I have um, like Fist of the North Star, uh, Bad News Baseball, the original Goonies. Not a lot, you know. I just, I'm not gonna lie, I just started collecting for the Famicom and stuff. Uh, up here is my PC, the start of my PC collection. Uh, so I've got like a couple of big box ones, so like Sudden Strike, Duke Nukem. Uh, Independence Day, all complete in boxes. You know, Grand Theft Auto 4, Guild Wars, Final Fantasy 11, Flight Simulators. 
uh, old school PC CD-ROMs like Iron Blood and EX Fighter, Dragon Age, you know, Battlefront, Star Wars, Bioshock, Diablo 3, Zoo Tycoon, Sims, Conan, Age of Empires, a lot of stuff you guys know. Over here, uh, I am a huge movie collector. These are double and triple stacked. I have a shitload of movies. Uh, I do like movies, obviously, but I don't particularly care to go through the collection. I could always do that in another video. Uh, but as you can see, there's a whole lot of shit down here. And if we actually... Uh, I don't want to show you my clothes hanging up. I apologize for that. I'm going to come over here. I've got my Blu-rays and my box sets over here. Um, that also I want to show. Uh, I do have some plug-and-plays like the At Games, Sega Genesis, the Atari Flashback 4, and the Intellivision. Um, I have a slot machine here that I was given when I got married, uh, nine years ago. Uh, more games here. I'm sorry, not more games. More movies. Uh, a lot of TV shows. You know, this is a lot of the stuff that has sequels, so like Shrek, Friday the 13th, Halloween, TV shows. Um, I don't really alphabetize these, not yet. Um... My collection of CDs. This is just like spare racks and everything. A TV I gotta get repaired. Um, more PC games like Big Game Hunter, House of the Dead, Star Trek. Um, as you see, this is a lot of like miscellaneous shit. So Lands of Lore, Need for Speed. This is stuff I didn't want to put over there on the rack. Because um, I figured it was just going to take up space. In these bins, I have uh, more DVDs and whatnot, and then uh, to get to the final part of this, I'm going to walk over here. Uh, it's not the greatest, but this is my setup. I got the connect on the top there. I got a 32-inch TV down here. Um, again, more bins with basically... Um, Wii accessories, Wii remotes, Sega Genesis, Sega Dreamcast, I've got guns, um, you know, for the Sega Dreamcast, uh, PS2 controls, Xbox 360, you know, a little bit of everything. The consoles I have over here is the N64, uh, that's the unmodded one, uh, my actual slim PS2, the other one that you saw over here is the um, the spare one I have. Uh, a GameCube with the Game Boy Player, the Wii, uh, Sega Dreamcast 360, uh, a stand-up uh, modded PS2 with a shitload of memory cards. The Yes, I do own a TurboGrafx-16. I do not have the wires, but I know it does work. I have powered it up, and I have one game for it, World Jockey. Um, and you know why, basically. Uh, Sega Saturn I have with two remotes and the expansion on the back, so I can play imported games. Um, an original Xbox, you could see that is the Hyperkin NES. That is what I do a lot of the reviews off of. Um, the Xbox One... PS3, I have a Model 1 Sega Genesis with the 32X, and with the Xbox control sitting on the top of it, the Odyssey 2. Now, like I said, upstairs I have my copy of Kingdom Hearts 3. I have a, again, PlayStation, um, the Move controls that you use for the VR. I've got like four of each. Uh, I have the plug and plays, the SNES Classic and all that. Um, again, they just don't fit down here. But uh, again, I apologize for the video, gorilla style videography, but I do appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, I apologize it was so long. I don't know how to do shit without dragging it on. Uh, 
But thank you for being a fan of the show. Thank you for uh, watching my videos. I really appreciate all the first responders and the medical care workers, the the male people, everybody. I really appreciate everything that these people are doing now. Um, again, you know how you know where to find this on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, TikTok. Come say hi, message me. I'll get back to you guys fairly quickly. And uh, have a great day, guys.